Hey guys, welcome to JPlays. I'm Iceman, and this is my playthrough of the third. I believe it's the third. Let's have a quick check. Um, one, two, three, fourth, actually. The fourth total conversion, uh, Wolf of Doom total conversion, developed by Laz Rojas, released mid to late 90s, I think. It could be early 2000s, but I think it's mid to late. Uh, yeah, so developed by Laz Rojas. Um, originally developed to work with the Boom source plot, which was, a, if I remember right, the first source plot that was developed for Doom. And I think that was before the source, the source code came out. Um, and then, many years later, in 2015, a user over on the C Doom forums updated the mod to work with modern source plots like Z Doom, G Zoom. As well as um, made the enemy behaviors a little bit more accurate to how they were in the actual Spear of Destiny and Wolf 3D, 3D for that nature. So yeah, there'll be there are some slight differences over how this played in the original release by Laz, Laz Rojas, um, but other than that, it's pretty damn good. I mean, like from what I've been, if you've been watching the other playthroughs of the Total Conversion, you can see it's pretty damn good. But um, yeah. So, on with it. Let's get on with it. Oh, oh really? I'll go back and get those guys near the entrance later on. Oh. Let me get some ammo first. <laughs> much more accurate sound effects. So the last couple that I played through had different sound effects to the ones I remember being in, the, in there. Whereas this one, it sounds much more like with 3D sound effects. So that's good. Oh yeah, totally. Oh, it's different ammo. Oh, this is like um, Second Encounter, where this weapon used different ammo to um, this one. So you've got 12 in this one, 82 in this one. Shit. Pistol's better than <laughs> Some of the sound effects from the other one. It's got the sound effect when you pick up the health. Okay, this guy's gonna die now. There you go. Hey, you bastard. Thank you. 
I wonder if this is like second encounter and that it has much more than just the base weapons. Or if it's just the pistol, machine gun, and the minigun. Or Gatling gun as they call it. Until I get the Gatling gun, I'm going to have to be very careful with my ammo. So far, this is really hard. Where the hell did you get a key from? Because I haven't found a key anywhere. Ha 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 ha! 
Ten guys in this level somewhere. <laughs> Once I'm actually going to save mid level. talking. Hopefully they get a bit more generous with health and stuff later on.
Previous ones, if you just did a quick burst from the Gatling gun, that would kill him. Uh, now you gotta hold it down for a little bit. As I was saying.
Loving the music. So you do hear it in, in the um, second encounter. Remaining enemies are all in secrets by this point. 
I'm good for health, so they can live.
Dog's got more health. Sorry, I was just checking Streamlabs. Ugh! <laughs> 
See them so early. Quite a few enemies still left on the level. About 49, I think. Yeah, 49 of them.
it looks like they're probably only in Seeker kids.
Done all the side bits, there's no exit. It's obviously somewhere I haven't looked. How the hell do you beat it?
one of those left running around.
None here. Oh, damn it. To go searching for some. Ah. Ah. 
bus time.
Oh man. That's not fair.
Alright, so that does it for the first part of my playthrough of Spear of Destiny, the total conversion for oh, as part of the Wolf and Doom series. Alright, I hope you guys have enjoyed watching this video. If you'd like to be notified about when I go about any more videos in the Spear of Destiny series, be sure to subscribe on the YouTube side of things to be notified when those videos are made available. Alright guys, have a good one.